Okay, Kathleen, so there's been a change in NSU sports. So can you tell us what exactly is going on this weekend? All right, well, the NSU men's basketball team saw a big win, but they're also going to be on the road taking on a big competitor. And we also have some big news in track and field. We'll have all that and more after the break. Welcome back, Demon fans. I'm Kathleen Barkley, and this is your Demon Sports Blitz. The men's basketball team took on southeastern Louisiana Monday night. The Demons came out hot and scored a total of 16 three-pointers to defeat the Lions 92-79. to It was a big win for the Demons, who now turn their eyes toward league-leading SFA. Uh, I think that it's just a matter of us being tougher. Um, than we were the last time we played them and rebounding the basketball and continuing to offensively be able to be productive. Um, if you go back and look at the game, one of the uh, biggest strengths uh, in their favor was they ran a zone against us for 16 minutes the second half, more zone than they played all year um, in one particular game. And we really didn't, didn't score very well. We didn't handle that very well. I think it will be much improved in that area. Uh, very hopeful of that. Uh, I don't look for them to go to that unless it's just a situation that maybe fouls. I can't remember exactly. I know Jacob Parker was hurt last game part of the time, and uh, that's probably why they went to that uh, some to cut down on the mobility uh, for him. They're an excellent team, and uh, we've just got to be prepared to go do the things that we do well and try to take away some of the things that they do. That game is tonight in Nacogdoches at 8 p.m. If you can't make it, you can listen on 100.7 FM, the Demon Sports Network. The Lady Demons basketball team has not been in action since last Thursday when they faced Southeastern here in Natchitoches. They had a little trouble with the Lady Lions defeating them 71-60. Now they too travel to SFA to take on a very strong Lady Lumberjack team. They're very good inside, and you, they're going to pound the ball inside to Portia. You know, she's shooting 60 plus percent from the field. We know that um, we can't give her easy looks at the basket. We've got to contest shots. We've got to not allow her to get easy, um, easy looks and easy touches in and around the rim. Um, and then we've got to find Henderson. I think you know when you look at their numbers over the last seven games, Henderson shooting you know 38 percent from three and. Um, we've got to know where she is, and whether that be in our zone or in, you know, in our full court or, or transition, what, whatever it may be, we've got to know where she is, and we've got to be able to limit her touches and, and force her to take tough contested shots. Tip off for the Lady Demons tonight is at 8, 5.30 p.m. in Nacogdoches, Texas. You can keep up with the game on nsudemons.com or listen on 100.7 FM if you're not making the trip over. The baseball team brought home a win on Tuesday night. The Demons defeated the ULM Warhawks 7-0 at Brown Stroud Field. They traveled down I-49 yesterday to take on the Raging Cajuns, but came up short 8-2. The Demons now turn their attention to the Southland Conference as they travel to Beaumont, Texas for their first conference series against the Lamar Cardinals. The Demons are ready for their first conference battle. Well, Lamar always. We didn't play them last year until we got to the tournament, and we got in a, a barn burner with them, a shootout and uh, was able to hit a home run late in the game and win it. But uh, one thing about Lamar, and I've been competing against them for years, everywhere I've been, uh, they're going to play hard. Uh, they do a great job, and uh, they're going to bring it. They're not going to back down. And you know when you play Lamar, you're in for a fight. So uh, I don't really look much into how they've been playing. I know they've beat some good teams this year. And, and uh, just like us and everybody, trying to figure out who they are. I know they lost some key components last year, and uh, but they're still trying to figure it out, and it's early, and, but it's time to go. And uh, like you said, it doesn't seem like we should be playing conference baseball, but we're in the fourth week now of our season, which is crazy. And uh, we're just looking, looking forward to going down there to Beaumont and competing against them and uh, seeing what uh, opening weekend league play has to offer. 
Game one of the series starts on Friday night. Game two on Saturday with game three on Sunday. Keep up with the game on NSUDemons.com. The Demons softball team traveled down to Baton Rouge on Tuesday to take on a very good LSU team. The Demons were looking for the upset, but came back to Natchitoches with an 11-0 loss. Redemption is in the future as the Lady Demons face Incarnate Word in a conference weekend series. They will take the Diamond at 3 o'clock and 5 o'clock on Friday and at 1 o'clock on Saturday. So come out and support our Demon softball team. The Lady Demons tennis, tennis team took the court on Saturday and brought home a victory. Southland Player of the Week, Natalia Krutova, leads the team to a 4-1 win over Southern Mississippi. The Lady Demons will take on the University of Central Arkansas and Grambling on Saturday. The matches will begin at 11 o'clock Jack, at Jack Fisher Tennis Complex. Track and field is making big headlines at NSU. Junior Aaron Williams swept the long and triple jump competitions in last month's Southland Conference Indoor Track and Field Championship. Williams' next stop will be the University of Arkansas, where he will compete in the NCAA Indoor Championships next weekend. He is currently ranked 15 nationally in his event. And for all your Demon Sports coverage, make sure you go to the NSUDemons.com to get your game recaps, schedules, and more from our wonderful sports information department. And that will do it for your Demon Sports Blitz. I'm Kathleen Barkley. And that's going to do it for this edition of NSU News. I'm Darian Powell. And I'm Olivia Marcel. Thank you for watching and have a great night.